Hey, have you ever dropped a song, right? And had so many expectations for it and it goes nowhere? Like everything that you had right just went left? That's that's what happens to a lot of artists, you know? Especially me, I'm not hopping on here to tell y'all, oh yeah, I'm a big artist now, you know what I'm saying? like. You know, like, we have those, and a lot of people just can't handle. So, you know, for the last few years, it's been like that for me, but I keep going. You know, when you have a passion for something, you just can't quit because you see it failing, and, 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 you know, your dreams ain't coming true right away, you know, and it's, it's kind of crazy because, you know, it's, I'm dealing with losses and my voice is changing, you know, sorry for the nasal. It, I'm, I'm just fucked up right now, you know, so. Life happens, you know, but you can't give up on your dreams, man. If you have a passion, keep working on it. Keep going for it, because eventually, you know, when everybody give up and you still going, somebody's going to see. Somebody's going to realize the talent and the hard work and dedication you're actually trying to put in. And eventually, you know, you're going to get somewhere. It might not be the where that you want to be, but you're going to get somewhere, you know. And that's what I'm pushing for. I'm not trying to be the greatest. I'm just trying to be successful at it. I'm trying to be the greatest I can be, you know. So that's that's my message, bro. Like, keep going. Keep pushing. Keep doing what you got to do because... One day, like I said, one day when all else fails and you haven't, you know, you're going you gonna to be amazed of yourself. Like, you're going to be happy. You know, you're going to be so grateful that you didn't give up because you were sad, because you was down, because you went broke, you know. If you keep pushing, keep pushing. I mean, look at the world now, bro. Like, it's crazy what you can blow up and go viral off of, bro, like, you know, simple stuff, you don't have to be going all out and putting your money all in, just be simple, be relatable, be realistic, you know, people love people who are relatable and just them, like, be real life, don't put on the character, bro, like, and that's what a lot of us are trying to do, we're trying to fit in when <laughs> we don't really have a spot to fit in, so, you know, that's the that's the case right now. It's like the world is so social media lies where everybody's trying to make their mark and trying to, you know, get in. You know, you don't have to make your mark. Just do you, you know, like keep doing you. Like don't try to be the, 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 the one that has to spend money and throw big parties and, you know, be all in everybody's face. Just continue to be you. You know, your personality might be weird to somebody else, but guess what? You have a personality, bro. You know, like, love yourself. You know, I'm disabled. You know, I think about it all the time. Like, damn, I wish I could be normal, but I can't. You know, I think about every time I walk around and out of a thousand people, I don't see one disabled person but me. So I ask myself, like, why I have to be so unique? you know, out of a lot of people. But then I get around, like, a lot of disabled people, and I tell myself, like, I'm in better situations than a lot of them, you know? So it's like, life can be a great up and down lesson for you, you know? One minute you think you're in a terrible situation and God presents you somebody that's in an even better situation than you, and you start being grateful and taking your life way more serious, you know? So, love your life, man. Love yourself. Be creative. Love your passions. Go succeed. Do something with your life. Don't just sit around getting old. Like, time is going by so fast, bro. It's crazy. The last four or five years, it just went by so fast. I can't understand how. And I feel like i just been putting out, dropping music, you know, and it just goes by. You know, so love life, bro. Eventually, you know, we all going to be freckle-faced, gray-haired up. You know, thinking about these days right here. Thinking about, like, I wish I would have did something when I was 28, 
29, 27, 26, in my 20s, my early 30s, middle 30s, late 30s, you know, so I tell myself that all the time, like, eventually, bro, we gonna be old, like, we're, we, we already at the uncles and auntie stages, you know, we used to be the nieces and nephews, you know, now we gonna be the grandpas and granddaddies and grandmas and <laughs> the milfs and gilfs and all them, eventually we finna... You finna be the, the old generation. That's basically how it's gonna be. So y'all keep pushing, bro. Everybody who out there getting certified and stuff, keep pushing, bro. I seen a lot of my classmates just change their life around, you know, and it's crazy because you see a lot of people used to be, you know, drug dealers and bullies turn out to be fucking businessmen and and lawyers and, and a lot of other stuff, like coaches. You know what I'm saying? You see a lot of Females who used to be like hoes and, and finessing, you know, building hair businesses and growing shops and doing amazing stuff like that, traveling the world. And it's crazy, bro, because I'm not jealous of none of it. You know, we all got our own life. We all got our own goals. Unfortunately, I never really see myself, you know, doing any of those things until I got older in life. I really didn't have goals. You know, my goals were unrealistic through high school. I thought, you know, as a disabled 5'9 guy that I can be somewhere in basketball. So once <clears throat> that hit me a few years after high school when I started coming down or, you know, not having a, not having a lot of time to work out. In high school, you got as much time as you want. You ain't got no jobs, bro. You ain't got no, you know, real responsibilities. You go to school... You, go to football practices, you can go to the gyms, and you go home for four years, and I got my life together, working out, going to the gym, doing all this, but once that's over, bro, and you got to pay bills and really, you know, have responsibilities, it's crazy, all that working out, bro, and if you're not going to school for it, and if it's not really one of your passions, you're going to really lose, like, the concept of why you wanted to do it in the first place like you know so that kind of happened to me and I kind of fell off bro like I, I really was in that mindset of wanting to be a bodybuilder wanting to you know show everybody I was athletic so now I'm just so out of shape it's crazy so I had to get myself right and that's what everybody need to do get yourself right bro you know, if you got to think back on high school and how it was and how you felt like you were in a better shape, think about it. Because that, that's one motivation. I always think about what really motivated me to stay in shape. got to think about it. Ninth grade, I came in at 210, 210 pounds at like 5'6", five, 5'6", six, five, six, five, By, you know, 12th grade, I was buff. 5'9", I could dunk a basketball, and I was like 160, 59 pounds, maybe 159, 160 some pounds. So, you know, it was just what motivated me back then. Back then, I just wanted people to know, like, I'm not, I'm not nothing to play with. I used to write, write songs. I didn't call them songs, I call them poems, and I still got my books today, you know, but... I didn't have a beat, so everything was just kind of off. I don't remember the cadence of none of my poems I wrote in, but and life is crazy, bro. Life will really, life will really show you what life is about, you know. And like you can forget stuff, you 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 won't remember a lot of stuff, and you kind of like lose track. You lose track of life, you know. One minute you in high school, the next minute you got three kids, you know. One minute you you outside. Living the best time of your life, the next minute you in a prison cell, serving life. You know, so life can be tricky, and life can be amazing, and life can be sad. You know, one minute, you know, you can be up, and one minute you can be down, and you think your life is over, and then the next thing you know, you up again, you know? And you never know, you know? I feel like nobody's life is really written. You know, you can always change it. It's all, It's always a destiny for everything, you know. So, you know, just never repeat what got you into the, the bullshit. That's it. A lot of people fuck their life up because they think they got away the first time. They can get away the second time. But 
The second time is 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 where your ass is grabs. You feel me? So, man, put your foot down. Put your foot down and do what you gotta do. Get your life on track. And 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 look at me like I'm I'm not saying this is a person who, you know, got it all. You know, I still gotta go to work on Tuesday. You know, I have a nine to five. I'm not saying this is, you know, I got my life together. You know, you need to get your life together, but. All I'm saying is, <clears throat> I'm getting to that age where, bro, I'm seeing a lot of people my age, and I'm, I'm only 28, I'm seeing a lot of people with gray hairs, like, stressing out. You know, I've seen people lose 120 pounds, and they just on that shit, they on that hard myth. I'm talking about that cocaine, bro, and it's crazy, because... These are people that you would have expected would have succeeded in life. You know, I've, I've seen people who I thought was going to be the top notch do nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? They come in like a regular customer in my store and just be chilling with nothing going on in life. And like I said, it's vice versa. Other way around, people who used to be felons grew up to be top dogs, you know? I'm not pointing out no names, but it's a lot of niggas, bro, where I thought y'all was going to be... Shitty. I'm talking about dead beats, beating on women, cheating on everybody. Y'all turned out to be some some go-getters. Y'all moved out the city. I'm talking about creative businesses and you know what I'm saying? Y'all doing great for y'all. And I hope y'all will never come back because Gainesville ain't the place for niggas like y'all. Y'all need to go make that money and stay out of these ghetto people faces. I understand y'all from the ghetto, but understand bro when you got motion don't go back you know because there's a lot of people that want to see you come back so they can drag you back down bro you know it's a lot of people that will sit in your face and encourage you and motivate you and then as soon as they get away from you be like nah he ain't gonna do none of that that's impossible he's delusional <laughs> you know so that's why I kind of stay to myself I don't want to stay to myself you know I wish I had a friend group I still got a friend group we just we don't we don't we're not one of those friend groups that's in a, you know, a chat, a group text, and, you know, we're all just every day, you know, like, we're grown men, we have jobs, people got kids, and girlfriends, and other financial things to do in life, so, yeah, it's like, I'm not one of those people to bother people anymore, you know, I, I've been by myself for five years, and thinking on, like, my relationship before I was by myself, I'm like, I really fucked myself up, you know, I spent all my money, you know, I could never get my shit together, so when I finally settled down and got my mind right, I realized, like, hey, you know, my priorities need to be right before anything, like, I'm getting older, you know, my little brothers are getting bigger, my little sisters are getting bigger, my mom is getting unhealthier, my aunties are getting unhealthier, all the older people in my family are, you know, getting older and... It's, it's about that generation of time that, you know, in due time, they're due, you know, and it's sad to say, but it's, it's life. It's life. We all going to die. I'm sad to say it. Sooner or later, we're all going to die. But what you going to do in life before you die, you know what I'm saying? Is it worth it? Is your death going to be worth it? You know what I'm saying? I don't want I don't want to be laying on my deathbed like, oh man, I should have did this, should have did that, should have did this, and that that'll be so pointless. You know what I'm saying? I would be rather happy sitting on my deathbed like, yeah, I, I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did that. I thought I'd never do this. So yeah, bro, it's like I, I always I'm always in my head about stuff. You know, life ain't nothing to play with. And my career is so, so heavy on me. It's so heavy because, like I said, I'm close to that age, man. And trying to be friends with people that's close to my age, too, is kind of hard because you already got your friend group. These grown men and grown women already have the people that they fuck with. You know, they're not just going to invite you into the friend group because you also do music. They also know other people that do music. That don't mean they're friends with them. You're just an associate. So, you know, people around my age, you know, they're already, they already got their intentions. 
And a lot of people my age, their intentions is to use you. If they can, if they can find that slight little fuck up in the algorithm with you, they're going to use it to their advantage. And they're going to try to fuck you over. That's why I kind of I kind of tell my friends that I already have now, like, hey, y'all got to help me out. If we could do this together, I could put y'all on. You know what I'm saying? So I want to reach out to other people. I'm trying to network. So hit me up. Hit me up. You already know. I'm, I'm posting. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, my bad. My light done died on me. Hold on. Hold on. Don't tell me my computer and died on me. Lord have mercy. Lord have. Okay, we back. Okay, we back. All right. So, yeah, bro, like, Hold on. <clears throat> hey, get your shit together. Get yourself together. Worry about your priorities, your bills, your career. Worry about that first. You know, your love life. Don't try to put too much into anything that's not putting enough into you. You know what I'm saying? If you really believe in it, go for it. If you kind of believe in it, don't go for it. Look more into it. You know, do your research. Figure out something. Like, everybody has that career path, bro. Like, I've always said there's three layers in life, bro. There's there's the homeless, there's the average, and there's the rich. You know, you, everybody fit one of those tiers, bro. The homeless is for people who don't want to do nothing in life. The average is for people who do what they need to do in life. And the rich is for people who do more than expected than they need to do in life. Bro, I'm trying to be up there. More than expected. You know, I'm right here. I'm the average. I'm average, bro. Everybody's average. And if you homeless, you, you got that bottom. If, if you doing what you need to do, you average. You fit right in that range. You know, even in depth, you still average. If you got your life afloat and you got a sun over your head and food in your belly, you average, bro. But we all want to be here. We're not trying to be here. To, I'm not trying to be here to hit no lotto. I'm not trying to be here because I want a parlay bet. I want to be here for something passive, bro. Something that's going to make me here all the time. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's a career, my music career. And I tell everybody, like, please, like, don't be those people that finally want to invest in me when somebody up here finally speak out on me and want to invest in me. You know, a lot of people I grew up with, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, if I can't get y'all to love me and, and, and support me, how can I get other people? But honestly, it's been the opposite. I've been able to get people in other countries to fuck with me way harder than people I've known my whole life. And I love it. I love it. Like, it's crazy. People I've never met before, like, showing me so much love, bro. And it's the same people, like, every month listening to my, my music when I check my algorithm, uh, you know, insights and stuff like that. It's, like, from the same place. Overseas. I mean, I have a few United States, but Spain, Canada, uh, 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 Brazil, Amsterdam, Australia, all y'all fuck with me. Like, France. Y'all really, like, you know, y'all spin my music a lot. And I kind of, I kind of dig that because, you know, it's a different feeling playing overseas. I hear from a lot of artists. You get paid more. The experience is more heavy because you're kind of like, you know, you're away. You know, you're an away team and everybody at the away country fuck with you probably more than the people at your home team. You know what I'm saying? So you're more popular in the away country than your home. And it's kind of like, that's amazing, bro. So I just got to keep going, bro. I'm at the age where I'm not old yet. I have a few more, a way few more years before I get to that turn. So I got to keep pushing. I got to keep pushing and striving and thriving. You feel me? You know, I want to stay away from this guy. Stay away from this guy. I want to give up this guy. 
but it's so hard. You feel me? It's so hard to give up the marijuana. Marijuana is a good thing and marijuana is a bad thing. Like if I had the vocal cords for it, the neck for it, I would smoke it. But marijuana is real strict on my vocal cords for the simple fact I don't have that neck portion. And something is fucked up right here. So if I smoke, it changes my vocals real bad. Like real bad. And you know, I, I'm getting nasally fucked up and it's just crazy. I'm just going to, it's just crazy. I need everybody, everybody who support me to just go like and stream my music, bro. Like, share it. You know, make some TikToks, you know, make some Facebook Reels. You know, do something. Like, fuck with me. <laughs> I love all y'all, man. Like, I don't understand what I need to do to really get myself off in and above these charts that I'm trying to top, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, I need to stop this. I want to stop this and get my mind right. I really want to clear, like I haven't stopped weed. And I've started weed five years ago and haven't stopped, you know? So I'm still a rookie to it, which makes me think it's easier for me to give it up because I know some stoners. I know people who've been smoking when I was in high school. Like, even in high school, when I had friends who smoked, I went over to their house, and I left the house when they all smoked, you know, or I just never hit it. You know, I was one of those guys, and I kind of still am one of those guys. If I gave this up, if I gave this up, which I wish I can, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm addicted to it. I'm just saying, like, I smoke weed to pass the time. I'm alone by myself all the time, guys. You know, when I'm alone and I need something just, like, chill with, I go to weed. I only smoke, like, a blunt a day. You know, I'm not one of them heavy hitters. But, yeah, like, like, like it's crazy. It's real crazy, bro. It's real, it's real, like, it's real life. You understand me? It's real life. Like, you know, once I give this up, I feel like I can go farther than what I am. You know, I want to, I mean, let's not say give it up. Let's say give it a break or give up a lot of it. Give up the mindset of running to it when I'm bored. You feel me? I don't smoke weed because I'm addicted to it. I could come home and literally not hit it until I sit down and don't have nothing to do. And now it's just like, okay, let me roll up. You know, so everybody, get your life right. My name is Sir, and I'm telling you right now, in a few years, man, when we all 50 and something, I hope everybody can look into the bank accounts and safe deposit boxes and be like, I'm so happy I did that when I was younger. I'm so happy I made those right choices. I'm so happy that I looked at a nigga Sir's video and he told me something. <laughs> hey, I love y'all, man.